Drive the door. 
for the many shoppers pushing.
everlasting lines. Ours for the riots at those special Christmas sales where the only thing left standing are the signs. Ours for the ruptured discs you got for carrying those bags and boxes. Why is for the yelling you'll be doing when both your MasterCard and Visa both come due? C's for those cavities you're sporting because you like too many candy canes. Eat just for your hands, which after Christmas get to scrape the fake snow off your window panes. Ours for the returns, refunds, and rejects. In other words, those perfect gifts that work. Icing spread on sugar cookies to cover up those portions that you burnt. S is for the stamps you never purchased to mail out cards you haven't had time to buy. T is for the tinsel in your vacuum. F is for that millionth Christmas tie. for the aerobics classes you'll be taking to shed the 14 fruit cakes you went through. S is for the sneezing you'll be doing when you find it's pine trees you're allergic to. shopping done already. I like to get it done ahead of time so I can focus on the more spiritual aspects of Christmas. Well, Pastor, you'd better get a move on. It's only a week until Christmas. Oh, I know you're awfully busy this time of year. Oh, the Sunday school? It's going great. Well, I certainly didn't know what I got myself into when I raised my hand at the all-church meeting to ask about plans, and I was elected superintendent on the spot, but I... Well, yes, the Lord's timing is perfect. Christmas pageant? Yes, of course, the one we have every year. I always look forward to it. What? The superintendent always puts that together? No, I didn't know that. I... Well, nobody told me that I needed to... Well, yes, I do have some stage experience. I was in the Nutcracker in the sixth grade. It wasn't that long ago. I, I don't know how I could possibly get anything together. Well, yes, of course the script has already been written, but I, yes, I know all the parents would be so disappointed if we didn't, and the kids too, those little um, sweethearts. I know it's a good time to evangelize all the pagan parents coming to the service, but pastor, Christmas is only six days away. I know it doesn't have to be anything fancy, but I, I don't know how I can preach the gospel in season and out at every opportunity. That's true. Uh-huh. Well, I can't promise the Crystal Cathedral pageant, but I'll see what I can do. The costumes are in the storage room closet on the fireside room, right? Great, I'll look them over. I just, I suppose Christmas will even be even more special now. Yep, thanks for calling, Pastor. Uh-huh. <coughs> Merry Christmas to you, too. Well... <coughs> ah, warm water. That happy blessed town where all the people live in one accord. Yes, come to warm water, where almost everyone believes what you do, and where there hasn't been a major sin for over 30 years. Yes, folks, tune in and hear the mayor say, Please, ma'am, don't do that. Look, buddy, I said I'd give a dollar. 
dollars, I'd get change back. But ma'am, it's Christmas. I don't care if you and me are standing in the middle of Bethlehem Square. I said, well, how do folks like we just love for you to come to warm water this holiday season, providing you're a Christian, that is. And if you're not a Christian, why well, you better just pack your up dirt. Well, alright. I guess if you do decide to stay, you can just act like you're a Christian. We wouldn't want to make any way you understand. <laughs> That special day of harmony will be here. That day when all of warm water will join hands in joyous anticipation of the celebration of Christ's birth. Six days! Christmas is only six days away! Yes, Christmas is just about the favorite day, holiday here in warm water, next to Award Sunday, of course. It seems the whole town is preparing for that bright, beautiful morning when all the world seems new again. These busy little beavers are squirreling away chestnuts, mince pies, and those little Christmassy red and green M&Ms. Everywhere, peace, peace, peace is in the air. Hey, lady, that's my spot. Yeah, I saw Commander at J.J. Newberry's two blocks down. I had to park my car in the J.C. Park loading dock. I mean, hey, hey, what are you doing with the forklift? Hey, that's my car! <laughs> Yes, these righteous residents have spent many hours in spiritual preparation, reflection, and looking for ways to give, give, give. But nobody has done more giving than Myrtle Fetchwanger and the gals of the Church Mice Boutique. Ladies, ladies. All right, ladies. Thank you. Oh, you're just so excited tonight. Well, Merry Christmas to each of you. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Thank you. All right, now down to business. As you know, ladies, th my name is uh, Myrtle Fetchwanger and... I'm the queen mouse of this year's boutique and luncheon. And, and as you also know, tomorrow morning is Saturday, the day we've been waiting for all year. Um, that's right, he's, it's, it's our reason for the season, boutique and luncheon. Um, tomorrow morning, our Felsh Paul will be filled with smiling faces of shoppers just waiting to thank you for the, for the gifts of love you've made. Um, hundreds will pass through our church doors to look at your gift items. Oh, we're gonna make a killing. But just remember, all the money is going to our uh, parking lot renovation fund. <laughs> and ladies, as you also know, tonight is Friday night, the night that we always get together and to share each other's labors of love and shall we say, have a little church mice pet rally and cheese <laughs> Well, this is it, isn't it girls? The day we've been waiting for all year. It's been worth it. So many wonderful gift items. True, it has been a struggle making time to come down here every uh, Monday evening since Easter. Long hours, stiff fingers, glue in your eyebrows. Wasn't that funny, Doris? <laughs> wow. <laughs> what a kick that was. Anyway, I must say, some of us have worked extra hard this year, made the extra effort. You know who you are, ladies, but there's one among us who's made the extra, gone the extra mile. Um, to make our boutique extra special this year. Ladies, I give you Grace Albrighton, the winner of this year's Little Elf Mouse Award. What? Oh, I, I'm i sorry. I, I haven't any, um, I don't have anything to, I haven't any sleep in six days. I haven't seen my husband since Tuesday, not since I tried to shoot him with my glue gun for eating the walnuts I was trying to shellac. Um, thank you, dear. Has anybody seen Henry? He's about this tall. He always wears plaid. Um, thank you, Grace. Is the boutique over, Myrtle? Is it over? It is for you. Oh, thank you. Uh, Doris, do you mind getting uh, Grace here an extra cup of coffee? Some of Dr. Er, Pastor Dorks's double strength blend. Thanks, Tom. Um, all right, church mice. We have a little business to attend to before we can get to Bad Miller's uh, major shaped pastries and teas. First off, with a little unpleasant business, someone dropped off a bottle of these in the foyer. It's Christ mousse, made from a bottle of, well, something that shouldn't be in church. <gasps> it has a little felt albeit it has a little certain 
charm, but uh, we on the Church Mice Boutique Board do not feel it is appropriate for a church-sponsored event. Uh, I'm not going to name any names, but let's just say there's a box of these that's going to be in the church foyer after the service today. And next. This comes with a lot of difficulty. I don't know, quite know how to put this, but hand them over, Martha. What? Hand them over. Myrtle, what are you? Tickets. <gasps> tickets? Boutique tickets. I, I, I tried. I really, I really tried. <laughs> <laughs> well, these are heavy, aren't they? I, I was just so busy. I mean, the, the choir katana and the women's Bible study and the church my morning fellowships and, and my you did ask for so many i wonder how many tables won't be filled down and alan you know alan he had that terrible flu that was going around he was sicker than a i suppose we could get mr rodriguez to set up a few less tables tomorrow so the room won't look so empty all right also i'll i'll go door to door tonight i won't even stop save for bad millers manger pastries i'll sell them we'll find here no pressure <laughs> Well, ladies, I want you to know how proud of you I am of you for each and one of your unselfish hard work. Pastor Dorcas has asked me to tell you that, that he appreciates all your efforts. Now, remember, no, how shall, how shall I say this? So hard tomorrow. Just sit behind your tables and smile. Oh, and Sandy, don't cry if someone comes behind your table and doesn't buy anything. <laughs> Dorothy, I don't. I, I think the glitter is a bit too much, don't you? <laughs> let's make people. Let's let's let the Lord move people to purchase, shall we? All right, Babs, are you ready back there? Oh, fine. Ladies, let's get out there and win one for the pastor, huh? Why, Nona? Will you ask the blessings for the pastries? Oh, and ladies, remember, we're all gonna rendezvous in the fireside room after uh, the evening service, right? <laughs> We'll choose a new chairperson for next year's banquet. All right? We will get a head start on next year's boutique. Let's go. Uh, church guys! Oh, yeah. I need a Gabriel and three shepherds. Makes nine kids so far. Oh, three wise men. Forgot about the three. Maybe I could just get big Bobby Brano. And I'll just have one really big wise man. <laughs> Do I need sheep? Can I get by with Mary Bob bleeding off stage? I know they're gonna want sheep. They'll probably want cattle lowing too. Cecile <coughs> beads a mill. I could just ring your What do you want? Oh, I didn't want to disturb you, but Well you did, Buster. But I Spit it out. I've got the Lord's work here. Well, shoot. It's just that we're all trying to treat in here, and the kids just look so cute. Yeah? Well, little Jenny has tinsel all over her hair. It's the cutest thing. And baby Boochers is making the treetop and you're fly around. Uh-huh. Dear, there's yours never come back yet. So make it a Kodak moment. Honey. Out. I've got sheep on my hands here. Honey bumpkins. Out! <laughs> Let's see. Heavenly host. <clears throat> You just have to make such a big production out of everything, don't you? <laughs> All right, how about a heavenly solo? Every day, the excitement is mounting as each moment takes us closer to the day of wonder. Why look, here's John and Larry out for their tr Christmas tradition of buying a tree. John and Larry are just so excited. Doesn't Christmas bring out the child in all of us? Sending you in the woods to find your own tree. He knows how much you love this tree right here. Now stop crying, Lawrence. I heard you. You want this scrying old thing. It does not remind you of mommy. Do you want me to tell her I, you said that? Look, I, I said, said I'm getting the stupid. Oh, hey, Larry, how are you? Oh, just fine, John, and yourself? Great. Just great. Yeah. Merry oh. Christmas to you. Oh, and the same to you. Uh, got all your shopping done? Eh, not quite. You? Uh, just a few things I need to pick up. Hey, isn't that funny we both ended up on the missions committee at church? 
Yeah, that was something. I, I, I really didn't think you wanted to be on the committee or anything like that. Yeah, well, I was surprised to see you on the committee too. Not that you're not missions minded or anything. Oh, oh, sure. Really think it's important to reach out to all those heathens around the world. <laughs> yeah. So, well, what brings you here? Uh, uh, got a late start this holiday. Uh, just trying to get a Christmas tree. You know how hard things can be at work. Especially in sales. Tell me about it. You know, Larry, I saw some real nice trees over there on the Gilman Avenue side of the lot. Really? What did I tell you about them? Oh, well, thank you. Do you know what? As a matter of fact, I saw some great trees over by the register over there. They're perfect, straight as an arrow. Not one of the sides would you have to turn to the wall, if you know what I mean. Thanks for the tip. And thank you. I guess I'll just uh, mosey on over there to check out those trees you told me about. Oh wow, look at those trees over there. Looks like a new shipment in. What oh, trees? <laughs> look Appleton, this tree is mine. My little Joni wants this tree and this tree only. No, she... Yes. Got it, there's plenty of other piney wanders in this lot. No, you look Miller. Little Lawrence over there has his heart set on this tree. At Christmas, he gets whatever he wants. He loves this tree. This scrawny old thing? Lab limbs half hanging off? Half bald. Couldn't hang a bulb on it. The garland would slip off. Sad excuse for a Christmas tree if you ask me. But it's mine! <laughs> the golden bonehead! This tree has my name written all over it. Let go of it, Appleton. Let go of it before I got a fly your face. <laughs> it's okay, honey. Daddy was. Daddy's just pretending. <laughs> it's okay, Lawrence. Me and Daddy's friend are just playing a pin the price tag on the tree. Okay, Miller. How much do you want for the tree? Not a cent, Appleton. This tree's mine. Got it? I did the tree. You what? I dibbed it from the I dibbed it when I saw it from the entrance. Really? No, I think you're mistaken. Look, I'm the one who called it. When? Uh, I called it from the entrance. I called it this morning. I drove by the <laughs> drove, drove by that the avenue side, saw it, and I dibbed it. You did not! Did too! No! Prove it! It's mine! This, this tree is my name written all over it, okay? I already told you that! Both kids are crying. What's their problem? <laughs> you want the tree or not? What do you mean, no? Now, Jody, you no know daddy only wants what'll get you, what'll make you happy. What do you mean it's not a Christmas tree anymore? Kids, huh? Go figure them. They sure don't think like us, that's for sure. Yeah. Well, Lawrence, I'm glad you finally opened your eyes. This tree would have looked atrocious in our front room. I think the little tree top angel would have flown away from this one. Well, kids sure know how to embarrass their parents sometimes, huh? <laughs> yeah. And just to think, all we're trying to do is give them a happy holiday. Yeah, well, it is all for them, isn't it? That's right. Christmas is for the kids. They're the ones who seem to get caught up in this whole thing. Right you are. <laughs> say, Larry, where'd you, uh, say, uh, where'd you say those Christmas trees were? Oh, over there on the Gilman Avenue side. Oh, well, thanks a lot. Oh, and Merry Christmas to you. Merry Christmas to you. Daddy, sorry, honey. He really wouldn't get that mad. It's all right, Lawrence. Me and Daddy's friend were, weren't. Uh, really angry at, at each other. After all, it's Christmas. It was just a play act, sweetheart. It was only a tree. <laughs> Christmas in warm water, a time when all things, all thoughts turn to home and family, a time when sweet memories drift through the mind, reminding one of those happy days of youth and those who made Christmases past something to remember. 
All over the city, doors are swinging wide open and mothers and fathers are throwing out their arms and wiping wet eyes as families are reunited in the warmth and joy that is Christmas. seem to fly by here in warm water. In fact, it's already the Sunday before the big day, and as Christmas nears, the church becomes a buzz of activity as folks can't wait to be a part of every program, every possible chance to participate in the joy that is Christmas. As you know, Christmas is quickly closing in on us. Anyone finish their shopping? <laughs> well, I like a medium-sized 15 and a half snack, and my favorite color is green. As you know, it is also time for the Christmas pageant, which will be held on Christmas Eve at 7.30 p.m. Helen Lingerfield has so gracefully volunteered to head up the, shall we say, production. It's certainly becoming one. Now I encourage all of you to lend a hand to Helen, and for your children, I want you to take a part in this rich and rewarding experience. I myself once played Gabriel once in a church Christmas pageant when I was a kid, and I was a donkey three times. I won't touch that one. <laughs> so Helen, why don't you come up on up here and tell us what you need? Um, how about two more weeks? Now the Lord's timing is perfect. <laughs> Hello everyone. As you know, I'm directing the Christmas pageant this year. Now I need every boy and girl to participate and all the parents to help whip up a few costumes and props. 
Rehearsals will start directly after the late service today with rehearsals on what, Monday night, Tuesday afternoon and night, Wednesday night, Thursday night, and on Christmas Eve afternoon for several hours. <laughs> if we need extra rehearsals, we'll schedule them later. Lines have to be memorized by tomorrow night, and all the, and all the costumes have to be ready in two days. Now you see, that's the challenge before us. Now, can I see a show of hands of all the kids who want to get involved in the pageant? Anyone? Anyone? Pastor, why are all the mothers holding their kids' hands down? I think they're just checking their nails. I see that hand. Oh, no, you don't. Oh, sorry. Well, I'll be in the foyer if anyone wants to come and sign up. I hope the donkey costume still fits. Hymn number 233, Almost Persuaded. The Christmas calendar says only two shopping days left. And while the world is ravaging the department stores, most of the residents of peaceful, pleasant warm water are settling in for family dinners, carols, and Bible verses.
achieved so much since I was in the Nutcracker. No actors, no chorus, not even some stupid sheep. It's only 7 p.m. and the sanctuary is not even half full. If there's an Easter pageant, I'm leaving town. And they were in the same country, shepherds abiding in the field, keeping watch over their flocks by night. And lo, an angel of the Lord came about them, and the glory of the Lord shone around about them, and they were sore afraid. Sudden, I am unaware of these afflictions, eclipsed 